Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This is episode 13. Last time we all were on vacation. Costa del Sol was an absolute joy. But there were of course some things that went awry. Hojo showed up to do some experimentation. We shut that down and Yuffie handed in her resume and we've finally let her into the group. So the whole squad is currently assembled for now. There's probably a few open spaces to fill in, uh, but we're still in this region, of course. We've got to head to Corel, but some side quests have popped up. They will be world intel to gather, assumedly. Uh, but we also have a brand new character here. So Yuffie has some new abilities and new equipment, and I'm so looking forward to how the synergy attacks will work with Yuffie and the group and just with other characters as well. I think it's going to be such a joy to actually uh, utilize them properly because in the original FF7, basically the only thing that set characters apart were their limit breaks. You know, they had their limit breaks and that was it. And then you can basically chuck whatever materia on that you want with them and they'll do whatever you want. But the remake gives an opportunity for so many new abilities and now in rebirth synergy attacks all of this stuff it's amazing so we can do art of war fire ninjutsu so we can switch our elemental affinity uh, so we can change it and brumal form momentarily vanish to evade and attack the ATB increases when successful and can use it while airborne uh, now, in regards of Yuffie's equipment, she's got the four-point shuriken, but we also have the savage dagger. Oh, that's very cool. So, the very classic shuriken there. Uh, with an already mastered elemental ninjutsu, which is very nice. Uh, blindside. Launch an attack even when immobilized or reeling from damage. Can use while airborne. That's very cool. Uh, we'll chuck that one on because we've got abilities to pr get proficient in. An old beast bracelet made from fossilized remains of an ancient fiend. So she's got that as well. I don't know what would be the best to give her at the moment. She'd also probably be very good for uh, sleeping, uh, for speed, not sleeping, sorry. Speed. So we can give her a speed demon. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what materia she just had on, uh, which is actually a little bit annoying. Um, oh, hang on. There you go. It was Innovation. Allows you to use physical and magic defense reducing spells. Pairing with warding materia grants resistance to these things being reducted. So D protect and D shell. Basically, D spell. Uh, so that's nice. I don't know how useful that's really going to end up being for now, but we'll see. Applies the regen status effect after blocking with perfect timing. That's nice. Uh, so Yuffie's obviously got steal and assess as well. Uh, I don't think that we need any of that. Uh, we've got a higher level steel materia at the very least uh, that she can have. Innovation is quite a unique one. I don't think she's going to be much of a materia caster in terms of spells, but more of an ability user. Uh, but time materia would actually go very well. Same with enemy skill or even like morphing. But we're definitely going to try and make use of Yuffie in the party. So I might actually swap some materia between uh, Yuffie and Tifa even. Alright, done some materia rearrangement and some party rearrangement too. So we're going to run with Tifa and Yuffie for a bit, which will be an interesting party get up. And we can start learning synergy skills. We'll also have to take a trip to the bookstore so we can actually uh, give abilities to Yuffie in the folio. What does Johnny want this time? What's up, bro? Forget something? 
Or did you just miss the unbeatable ambiance of my seaside paradise? Either way, I'm glad you're here, because I was actually hoping to ask you for a little favor. As you know, your boy's debt free. Figured I'd make the most of my financial solvency and give the inn a total makeover. Thing is... You short on hands? Ah, uh, if only, my dear bro. Kind of the opposite problem, actually. Oh, Johnny, a name thou hast claimed is thine. But if thou truly Johnny B, then who, pray tell, am I? So yeah, it's your classic existential crisis. You get the idea. Uh... Beds have all been made. What's next? Huh? Oh, hey, bro. I, I, I told you to stay out of sight. You're just gonna confuse him. Aren't you supposed to be out shopping anyway? Go on, shoot. Oh. How come he gets to talk to my bro and I don't? So unfair. Uh, see what I have to deal with? Um... Yeah. The cloning ninjutsu, the shadow ninjutsu that uh, Yuffie did actually turns out uh, <laughs> it wasn't a trick at all. Hello? Anything to do with me using my ninja skills to create a bunch of clones? Would it? Turns out a few of them managed to stick around somehow. And I think they might have even multiplied. <laughs> I mean, I never doubted my amazing abilities, but even I didn't realize I was capable of doing that. But hey, look on the bright side. At least you aren't short stopped. Oh, but I am. I sent a crew to fetch materials and haven't heard a word from them since. Turns out I can't rely on myself, my other selves. I'm begging you, bro. You gotta help me out here. A Johnny's a wild beast that can't be tamed. You know that. There's no telling what sort of havoc these bad boys might wreak. Maybe we should lend him a hand? <sighs> Fine. Yes! I knew I could count on you, bro. I sent them off to the coast of Falls to look for materials for the renovations. I want to start there. I think what I really like about this is adding you feature to the team and getting new side quests means that they might be tied to Yuffie <laughs> or have a little bit of that uh, expansion on her character, giving you an opportunity to get to know Yuffie quite quickly. Uh, amazing. So <laughs> Johnny's been cloned and it, it actually stuck around. That is ridiculous. Can we find him? This other one that popped up? Maybe not yet. Okay. Let's proceed, shall we? Uh, so this actually involves us going out and about for the very first time as well. So we'll make sure that we pick up hey, all that we can before we do. Uh, I actually have not been shopping in Costa del Sol yet. Because uh, I said that I would do that later. Um, nice. Okay. So interestingly enough, Protect and Shell with fortification materials here, but so is Barrier. They do have Barrier, uh, Mana Ward and Mana Wall. Huh. I wonder what the deal is there. Uh, well, we'll grab a Barrier for sure. That's really interesting, actually. Um, and I'll grab an actual Empowerment Materia too. Really surprised by that. <laughs> okay, um, I won't pick up any other extra ones yet. I know that eventually I'll want to level up and do some uh, materia AP grinding, but that'll be towards the end of my playthrough when I prepare for hard mode. Uh, but for now, that's good. So it's going to be really nice to actually move about unrestricted now because we can wander out of. Costa del Sol if we want. 
We do have uh, another piece of sheet music here, from what I can see. Oh no, hang on, not a sheet piece of sheet music, but this guy is here. I can just tell him that I got the A rank as Tifa, right? There's no finer sound in all the world than the voice of a humble piano. Yeah, nice. Uh, so I can do this one and I get my MP up material. Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. Nice. So we just get to be like, yep, Tifa did this while you weren't here, by the way. Uh, so we got a, a nice uh, MP up. I don't think anyone's rocking an MP up material at the moment, actually. I might even take off my assess finally. Uh, and I might give Yuffie the assess earrings. So she can do that instead. Grants one gill for every 100 steps taken. Chuck that on and do the classic go to sleep, rubber band your thumbsticks, get rich overnight. <laughs> Very typical. Uh, okay. Assess material. So it allows use of the highest level of assess material. Nice to have the whole group out as well. Does that mean we can put uh, Barrett in his uh, sailor outfit? Surely. And then, unfortunately, we can't take it out to the field with us. However, you know that you can use these outfits in combat, which is my favorite thing ever. Get in there, Barrett. Get in the sailor outfit. It's a necessary thing. Very good, thank you. Oh, dude, what the fuck? You can, dude, they actually have done it. They've allowed you to change into this gear as well. Oh my God. Yo, you can have Cloud and how he looks during like Crisis Core. Surely, these outfits, right? Surely we could take these out to the field. Please? Could we? Oh, dude. Yeah. You can give Yuffie the Moogle hat and cape as well. And she has her outfit. If we can change the outfits of uh, Sid and Vincent retroactively when we come here... <laughs> Imagine Vincent in beachwear. Okay. Uh, incredible. Uh, I love that you can do this. I now simply have to test this if we're able to take them out of Costa del Sol. Uh, if it affects our uniforms. Is it said that the beachwear will automatically be un uh, unequipped? But if they've secretly allowed us to swap costumes to other things, I'm so happy. Because that has a lot of potential. Passengers with reservations at Costa del The best way to make tracks is on Choco Bag. Now, the best way to test this is Barrett. Because it says that beachwear will be removed when you leave. But I've headed out, and Barrett's still in his sailor uniform. So we're running around in our Shinra disguises, which is great, because now we can go back to Midgar, right? And they'll go, ah, look, Shinra's returning. <laughs> With their ninja prisoner. Damn. Okay. That's awesome, dude. We've got Corel music. You've got the Chocobo rentals. Obviously, we've got to wrangle our uh, Chocobo in this region. Our beloved bird Kaima is available right now. Beloved bird Kaima. Okay, so Kaima will be the one that we need to grab. 
please step right Whoa! Back. I'm in the presence of a wheelie master. Alright, Shinra's hanging out in Costa del Sol now. Um, rendezvous in Costa del Sol with the three fashionistas. Hey, lovebirds, we need your help in creating our next line of classic swimwear. All we have to do is go on a very special date we've planned that's sure to bring you and your partner closer together than ever. So come and see us on the beach if you're in the mood for romance. <clears throat> okay, uh, in that case, uh, what we have to do is we have to change into our beach wear. Uh, <laughs> we have to change into our beachwear. Now, can we actually remove party members so we only have... Do you have to have a maximum of, of three? It seems you can only... you can only swap. Um, yeah, to get to the beach, we've got to change. Alrighty, the crew is in beachwear, and, um... Cloud has magnets in his back, by the way. That's how he's able to keep the sword on. Uh, he's... yeah, he's got spine magnets, you know? It makes more sense to have Cloud in the other outfit in this portion of the game, then. Shit, <laughs> while he's got the Buster Sword. Oh, it's these three, okay. You're the one who got into it with that Shinra scientist. Oh wow, it is you! I'm Fran. And I'm Naomi. Name's Yorda. And we would like to hire you for a job. Interested? That depends. It's simple. Girl and boy go on a date. Easy peasy, right? A date? The three of us are designers for Costa del Sol's premier fashion boutique. For our next line, we're thinking something sexy. Perfect for the beach, the bar, or in the boudoir. But creatively speaking, it's been a struggle. We've been racking our brains forever. And the showcase is basically now. It's do or die, and we don't want to kill our careers. So... That's where you come in. We want to see a real couple on a date. For inspiration. Well, sound like a good gig? Um, I think it's forcing Aerith onto us. <laughs> we don't get to choose. Hojo, as in that Shinra guy? We were just doing the mayor a favor. That's all. And if we're being honest, we figured it couldn't hurt to butter up a company bigwig. We got a business to run. Because we can tell you like your women assertive. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching! One look at you and we knew. That woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. Interesting. I wonder if the the person is chosen differently depending on how things are going. But Tifa's our highest relationship uh, meter out of the whole squad. We knew you would, and so we've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. Get rowdy at Run Wild. Be ready to swashbuckle at Pirates Rampage. This is going to be your best date yet. We'll make sure of it. Hello? What do you mean? Check out the date activities. Go to Run Wild, where you let your dog out to run around and then shoot cutouts on swashbuckling. Best date ever. You're going to absolutely love what we've cooked up for you. First, find Naomi and Fran. They'll kickstart your date. They'll be waiting for you at Run Wild and Pirates Rampage. Have fun! Don't let them cook. They don't know what they're doing. All right, Tifa, don't look. The thing, this they is made me the do it. Stranger jobs you've accepted. Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. We could just keep it simple. And what's a simple date in your world? Like 
A walk? Across rooftops, perhaps? Sure. <laughs> <sighs> Memories. The very first thing we did together after leaving the church. That is funny. Okay, Fran. <laughs> Look who it is. So, are you ready to aim and fire? Do well, and you might just land a bullseye on her heart. Yep, okay, they're gonna make me do this again. Uh, new rewards this time. It's 18,000 for an abyssal bangle. All right. Oh god, it's got accuracy now. Oh god, they added accuracy. Okay, now I can't just frantically shoot. And uh, I get bonus points for keeping my accuracy uh, over 50%. Excuse me. Oh. God, this is now awful. That I have to be accurate as well. No. This is embarrassing now. There's accuracy involved, my dear. God damn it! Now I just can't frantically shoot. I'm gonna be here forever. My target score is 7,000. Oh my god. Wow. Great job. You did it. Oh, the cactua! Dude, what the fuck? No, oh, no. Oh my god, dude. No, they got. You got it. They made the cactua as annoying as possible. Of course they did. I actually got 15k on the first round, so that's not terrible, but I'm supposed to get 18k for the best reward. Wow! Wow! Alright, I need to get 18k. Someone's confident. Wow! Oh man, okay. We got 21k. There you go. Bam! Target score keeps going up wow, so crazy. Look at that score. Those are some pro numbers. But what did the lady think? Oh, got me right through the heart, the cat. <laughs> you know, the secret is to aim for the head, not the heart. She never once took her eyes off her man. And the way she stared at him, the score didn't matter. Thanks, cuties. That was just what I needed. I'll head back, now that the creative juices are flowing again. You two, however, still have a date to finish. Go find Naomi at Run Wild. Okay, so we've got Red 13 to help us out. Uh, we got an Abyssal Bangle. So let's take a look at our new toy. It's like a plus two, grade five, a highly sought after bangle. Every piece of the same design was handcrafted by a single goldsmith. Okay. Nice. Um, I'll decide who to give that to later on. I wonder what the girls have next on the agenda for us. More cheap date ideas? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're trying to enjoy ourselves. Come on, trying to come get paid. To the best You're no fun town. at all today. Well, for the record, I am treating this, this as a date. I wish you would. So I can't get the 
I want lovely made accessories right here. You're no romantic. Believe me, I know. Find anything right. sweet and enticing. I'm only romantic for one woman, Aerith. I'm sorry. And even Cloud knows it. <laughs> This is such an interesting dynamic. He's like, I wish you wouldn't treat it like a date. Someone took their sweet time, I see. Better hurry or the game will start without you. What game? Run Wild, of course. Tell me you've heard of it. It's only the hottest sport in town. Not hard to guess why, seeing all those cutie wooties. I mean, it's the perfect spot for a date. Are you ready to go? So we're gonna need Red to help us out, right? Run Wild Time Trial. It's survival of the fastest in this new twist on Run Wild. Shoot the numbered balls into their corresponding goals in the shortest amount of time to win. Okay, so Red's going to help us on this date. Uh, we get an old beast bracelet again, like the one that Yuffie's got. For, uh, I guess doing it in less than three minutes. All right. Wish me luck, okay? You do know this is for animals, right? <laughs> Not people. People are technically animals too, right? So it's cool. Wrong! Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. But though I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Gret's got this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Please put the pour in. Yes, my Give God. Give me an Thank R. You. Give me an E. Give me a D. <laughs> he hates being a, a, a dog, but he is. Okay. Let's go. I forgot how to... How do I hit it in? I oh, shoot. I haven't done... I haven't actually done a lob shot yet. I don't know if it's a good idea to do one. Seems too aggressive. Oh god. Okay, let me just... Let me just... Let me just... Let me just... No, let me... Okay. Come on. This is the opposite of doing time trial. Get in there. Are they just dropping balls in our way too? Oh no! Okay. Damn it. Get these balls out of here. Alright, I got this. Did you go in? Yeah. They do make it easier by uh, at least having them be the corresponding colors as well. Oh, there's the lob shot. There you go. Get the shit out of here. Oh wait, they got goalposts now? Oh, so you gotta lob shot it over. Alright, I see. I see what you're going for. You gotta lob shot it over. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now they're starting to fluctuate. Lob shot. Ugh. Wait, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, we win, baby. How's that? The goal is three minutes. I'll raise you. Less than two minutes. Like a red bolt shooting across that field. I am quick on my feet. The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you enjoy losing. Hmm. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only served to strengthen their bond. That's it! I'm such a genius! I've got to get this idea down on paper! I need to get back to the shop, like, yesterday. Yorda's at the stables for the final part of your date. So what are you waiting for? 
Get those tushies on a chocobo. All right, we're doing chocobo stuff. That's fun. I wonder what sort of design the girls are going to come up with. Hey, what kind of swimsuit would you want to see? Me? Yes, you. I'm curious. Well, I prefer function over form. So, durable, maybe made with non-absorbent materials that allow for full range of motion. In case you need to fight underwater. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Cloud's been such a nerd. He's like, well, it needs to be aerodynamic and maybe you might be fighting underwater. <laughs> That's so good. Such an idiot. There you are. Okay, I've got a great activity for you. Before that, though, I need to add your information to the system. Here, take this. Nice. It'll let you rent a chocobo whenever. That's Kaima. Take good care of her. So the idea is to ride Kaima here and enjoy a romantic stroll along the beach. Oh. <laughs> but that on its own sounds like a huge yawn fest. So try hunting for shells while you're at it. How about you bring me the largest one you can find? Sound good? I'll be chilling back here. So you two run along and have yourselves one shell of a time. So we didn't even need to wrangle a chocobo in this region. You just had to rent Kaima. Love this color. Uh, also, <laughs> just like, that sounds boring that day. I wonder if you can hold off doing this side quest until after the gold saucer for no discernible reason whatsoever. Because I don't know if this is going to affect I don't anything. Know about you. But this is definitely a first for me. You've ridden them before. I'm not talking about the chocobos. Oh. You meant the shells, right? Right. <sighs> Wait a second. Are you nervous? About what? Easiest job I've ever had. The Merc's nervous! It's funny that everyone is here, right? Like, we're all... We're doing this job together, but they're with us. Also... I thought we were going to the beach, and that's... But I guess this makes sense. We're going... Nope, that's Johnny. Oh, we're going to... We're going to here, Clamshell Beach. Nice. Okay. Oh, damn. Hang on a minute. Look at this. Because now this is new. How this is opening up. So the Corel region. What is that? Yeah, I'm trying to see what I can identify out here and seeing over the other side because there's all like the tracks and stuff. I guess this is our gold saucer right here. That would make sense. It's looking very gold saucery. Curious about this. I'm wondering how they've decided to represent Corel in this one. Let's go get some shells at the beach, shall we? We'll do the other things for sure. That's a sure thing. Oh my god, it's those things! They give us the enemy skill, uh, Mighty Guard. If you have the Manipulate Materia in the original. Oh, Big Guard. Alright, we're hunting for shells. Okay, I think we we're getting shells here. Some good shells around here. But first, we the track. Barnaclaw. Okay. So Yuffie can do assess through the earrings. And I'm a frog. Large crustaceans that dwell near coasts. They use their giant claws to dig shellfish out of the sand, crushing and eating them. They are rather territorial, attacking any and all intruders they see. They slip into a defensive stance after taking a normal amount of damage, a certain amount of damage, rendering frontal attacks ineffective. 
fire damage will break their stars. If left un uninterrupted, they will strengthen themselves further with ice energy. Yeah. I was frogged and then I was unfrogged. Brace yourself. Take the lead. Fighting as Yuffie. Yuffie specializes in both close and ranged combat with her throwing star and ninja skills. Strike a foe with the throwing star, hold it down to continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. Triangle to launch the throwing star. While it's launched, press square to activate the ninjutsu. Change the elemental affinity with the elemental ninjutsu ability. The throwing star will return automatically after a certain period of time, but you can press triangle again or hold square to get it. You won't regret this! Damn, so you can like throw it and then instantly go right to it. Crazy. Jutsu. Oh, there's Yuffie. Yuffie is a frog. Here it is. Is Yuffie is a frog. Oh my god. Alright, I'd like to not become a frog anymore. Take me back to my bubbles. No, my bubbles that will turn me back. Thank you. There's the ninjutsu. Shells, ready or not, here we come. <sighs> Let's saddle up first, then search. Sounds good. Back on the birds we go. Gathering seashells while enjoying a date with Aerith on Chocoback. Each coma beware though, okay. Whoa! I got a gigantic shell. Seen a shell this big before. Hmm, if these things are all this size. I bet the suckers who live in them would make for good eating. Wonder how they taste. <laughs> we hmm. could ask a local, but you don't strike me as the type to care all that much. I don't. It's so teeny tiny. You know. But how does it taste? A lot of troopers take half a shell with them when they head out on missions. I know where this is going. It's meant to be a keepsake for their partner, right? A symbol of their undying love. And an omen of death for the trooper if anyone else sees either one. That took a turn. You're like, oh, okay, that's kind of. Keep it together. I got you. Watch yourself. I'm your one stop you up right now. Get down. With the power of his providence. Feel me proud. Hang back. Take the lead. It's on you. Here I go. Just you up. This is nothing. Come on. Stop it now. Oh yeah. Now you're in for it. There. Shake things like it. Nice. Okay, we're done here. Decent size one too. Whew. I think that should just about do it. Okay, ready to go? Are you sure? Really? Leaving the decision to me? What about you, Cloud? Are you sure? This is the part where you're supposed to blurt out. I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with you. This date's DOA otherwise. Okay, now you're just being mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm sorry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. God, this date is going swimmingly. Now you're just being mean. <laughs> Jesus. We're getting along so very well, guys. 
This date was DOA. I'm sorry, Aerith. Alright, let's go back. All the other open world things we'll have to wait for now. We're finishing this side quest. Welcome back, you two. So, happen to find any neat shells out there? How is the beach? Romantic? Oh, obviously you want to hand over the big one. Whoa. Huge, right? Dang. That thing belongs in a museum or something. I can't help but wonder what is making her smile from ear to ear like that. Is it the shelves? Or... Ha! I've got it! Inspiration has finally struck! I know what to make! But before I go, swing by the fashion showcase. We want you front row center! See you there! Next time we need a chocobo, I say we ride double. Then slow down the bird? Which would make it that much easier to take in all the scenery. I'm still steering. <laughs> oh, fine. If you've got to be the man up front. Huh. Oh, that went very well, didn't it? That was a great date. Is on choco back. Choco Have we got any uh, Queen's Blood to play out here? Because there is the Queen's Blood thing with tables, and I did see uh, Queen's Blood around the place, but I guess not. Snaps is there too. Johnny's Tourist Center is the fast travel point. Alright, let's attend the fashion showcase. Let's uh, see this through to the end. I'm in the presence of a real master. Grab a materia pop and give your taste of It's all the bros from Midgar in the distance. Wanna shoot your shot? This swimsuit's got perfect aim. The Red 13 themed one. Love might be a game, but you'll never lose in this winning ensemble. Wanna land a big catch? With this look, it'll be hook, line, and sinker. The Red 13 dress is the best. <laughs> Look at this surprising reveal. They're back. <laughs> Who among you doesn't ache for that perfect swimsuit physique? You want to get ripped? You want a hot fog? Then you better train with the best of the best. So come, come join, join our, our gym, gym and muscle maximize. Jewels and the bros. Time to do some more chin-ups. I'm so glad you came! So, what did you think of the show? You were the inspo after all. I absolutely loved it! But the two of us didn't do anything inspo-worthy. We just had fun. That's what we wanted! Happy couples get us inspired and fired up! Exactly. This place is more than just a vacay spot. It's a paradise where people come to create lifelong memories. And making sure they do is what we do best. So next time you swing by, promise to frolic in the waters, bask in the sun, enjoy our town to its fullest, and leave with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Eyes deceive me. Is that Cloud? Oh, hey. You trade the city for the beach, too? What are you doing here? Relaxing, really. We're on our yearly beach retreat and commissioning this year's new singlets from these talented young women. <laughs> oh, right. That reminds me. Stop by the training facility when you have a moment. We're in need of your particular skills. Okay. 
Updated mini-games, updated versions of Pirates Rampage and Run Wild are now available to play at any time, with new prizes and aim for even higher scores. Uh, okay. <laughs> and our relationship with Aerith has changed. And new quests are available in the Corel region. And we've got squats. I'll see you at the training facility. God damn. Okay. Completing quests to open up more quests, baby. Who do you think's the cutest babe on the beach? What are you doing with the Shinra briefcase, man? I'm totally white. Apologies, but this beach is reserved for guests of the Royal Coast. What a voice. The Royal Coast, huh? Whatever happened to that shady man who was hanging out outside of uh, Johnny's uh, hotel and he was like, man, this place sucks. <laughs> Bodybuilders in a bind in the training gym in Corral. It's time to muscle maximize. Or at least it was, until a bunch of fiends showed up and started scaring our members. Even the most passionate builder would struggle to get into a rhythm with those things hanging around, so we need an able-bodied Burke to come save the day and our games. Okay. So there's that. That'll be a new quest. So in the uh, Corel region, we'll find a training center. We'll be sure to check that out. Uh, which means, uh, best thing that we should do is check in with Snaps because he'll add the photo point to the map out in the wild. Oh my god! Yo, there's some more things. Oh, so great. this is why we have the Johnny clone. Hey, bro! Guess what? We just started offering guided tours at the hotel. Get around town in a flash with Johnny's fast travel service. So, where to? Incredible. Johnny's very good fast travel service, so fast, right, that it actually makes you have to reopen the game, reload your save file, then try again. Hey, bro! Get around town in a flash with Johnny's fast travel service. So, where's... And we made it. Thank you for using Johnny's fast travel service. Without a hitch this time. Very good. Don't think I want to share a bed with rats. <laughs> what? Hang loose. Looks like another fine day in paradise. Shall we commemorate it with a photo? How are we posing this time? Oh, the sun. Cloud. <laughs> uh, Did this end catch your eye as well? <laughs> I wish these photos got added to our inventory. From the five-star hotels on Main Street, it has would be a certain amazing. appeal. I suspect this area has a plethora of photogenic spots. Corel Coastline Scenic Spot. Feels like I've seen a lot. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Feels like I've seen a lot of that Johnny lately. Just we got a bunch of Johnnies just taking them there and going, hey, you'll love this place. Hey, how about an orb or two? Okay, I think for this area, that's as good as we're gonna get. Uh, so we can now start to head out into the wild here. Uh, I guess I should take uh, Johnny's fast travel. The thing is, I think that the fast travel point is only from there when you get into Corel, and then you can choose where to go from there, not vice versa. So uh, we gotta, we gotta end up taking our wheelies. Alright, now let me take the wheelies out of Corel, please. <laughs> Uh, 
Alright, I'm leaving on my wheelie. Oh. No! Okay. That's right. The best way to make tracks is on Choco Bag! So, the fact that they allow us to be out in the Corel region in our bathing suits, I guess it just means you can't go to, like, Junon region or the grasslands, you know, stuff like that in the bathing suits, but you can be out here, which just feels so strange. It's like you need to be in the bathing suits to go onto the beach, but then you need to also uh, get out of them if you want to not look like a fool. I can't take the swimming suit seriously when we're out in the world, you know? Because it feels like I'm playing with nude mods. I got s stupid sexy cloud. I have to go back into town and change. <laughs> but here's the beginning of our long, arduous journey through uh, Corel. Um, and I definitely want to clear out the region. But we'll see what we do for today. I think we'll focus on the actual uh, side quests themselves. I see a pair of Johnnies. My long Johns. I just realized this is going to be hilarious for that Jenny character. Johnny sent me to check on you guys, help you find materials. Oh, that was pretty smart of me. No, no one, one knows, knows me better than myself. And uh, this whole synchronized talking thing is kind of creepy. We had actually already gathered everything we needed, but then we ran into some fiends and had to zip line for our lives. So unless they took our stuff for some weird reason, everything should still be right where we dropped it. You think? You'll help us get it all back, won't you, bro? The more pieces you pick up, the better off me and me will be. Me and me. Having Recover the refurbishment like materials. Us. Even better. Throw a hundred Johnnies in a fight and we'd still get our asses kicked. We'd be so scared we'd run before the fight began. So, you find, you find anything, anything, bro? Not yet, Peter Parker. They ought to be all around the zip lines, right where we dropped them. You'd be doing us a solid by tracking him down. Okay. Come on, don't leave us hanging. We need your help. I gotta get eight of them. This is gonna be tough with just us. Oh, maybe I could make some clones of me and you to help out. That is no. a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, I think you meant to say terrific idea. Come on, Cloud. Just imagine how much fun it could be. <laughs> well? What did I tell ya? More Yuffies, more fun! This looks like a job for the Yuffie squad! How about we take a look over there? Nah, I think we'd have better luck over there. If it's not Materia, I'm not interested. <laughs> hey, Cloud! Uh, Cloud? Are you even listening to us? See? Like, like I, I said, said, fun! No, not fun. Boo! How is she able to do that with her voice when she hasn't actually cloned herself? She's just repeating it like a silly child. So strange. I was like, is there supposed to be multiple of them? But you can tell that she's doing both the voices. But then she also is able to, like, duplicate her voice. <laughs> Very interesting. Alright, well, we've got a zipline up here. Very nice. Costa del Sol, a recent history. Let's have a look at this. 
Though Costa del Sol is now a renowned beach resort, it was once home to a string of humble fishing villages. However, when relations between Shinra and the Republic of Junon began to deteriorate, Shinra annexed this portion of the coast. After the war, the company designated the area for redevelopment, transforming it into the must-visit location for avid sunseekers that it is today. Costa del Sol offers vacation packages to suit any budget, allowing travelers from every corner of the globe to savor the idyllic beaches. Plans that include a trip to the Gold Saucer have proven particularly popular. Shinra's reach stretching far and the impact that it's had on the entire world. Okay, so we got Fiend Intel number one. Hit the squids. Pressure, stagger, and uh -oh. defeat. It seems we've crossed into fiend territory. Okay, maybe doing dodge them, Scutcher. Hang on, these are different. Uh, Yuffie's got to do assess on these because they're Shanklopods. Uh, a rare Shaolopod variant that possesses an internal ink sac capable of spraying an inky liquid and re wreaking ge general havoc while hiding in its shell. Okay. Trying to pressure this that's this specific one. No There you go, we got the kill at the same time as the stagger. I won't give up. All good. Let's do this. Oh, you got in the way. That's annoying. Let's do this. No holding back. Calling fire, sloppy. Shit. Juggle it like a ball. Okay. Incredible. You're out of luck. Nice. Look at this, though. This is locked off. No entry to some old mines, perhaps? We do not know as of yet. Okay, so to save some time and trim the fat, I have uh, gone and explored the region and completed what we can over here. This is kind of what I was bringing up earlier in previous episodes of the open world and doing the intel stuff that once you've activated one tower, you've activated all of them. We know what that sequence is, is like. And personally, I think it makes for a better and more streamlined viewing experience to keep the important stuff. Uh, but I've been able to explore this region as much as possible for now, which is nice because it looks like we've hit a uh, hurdle as you cannot go past the borderland. And I was uh, comparing this to the Final Fantasy VII original map, and this would normally be the, where there was like the small river that was unable to be crossed by uh, feet or chocobo you would have to actually obtain a different method of traversal because we've got to go up this way toward Mount Corel and uh, what I realized that this area here probably is is the Marco reactor and this is uh, one of my favorite pre-rendered backgrounds in the original Final Fantasy VII, this big, massively tall Marco reactor uh, that goes out into this area. So this is going to be a lot of fun to, to explore and see. So we're going to do the side quests here. 
that are remaining. I haven't touched the side quests, just the World Intel related objectives. So, you find, you find anything, anything, bro? Whoa! Honestly, we don't even remember collecting this much stuff. You're incredible! You got that right. Our bro's a cut above. <laughs> I guess we better get this hall back to our palace, kind of, sort of, by the sea. Which means our work here is done, right? Well, since you asked, a couple of the other Johnnies went looking for parts to fix the boiler. Wait, there's more of you? Yep, and I bet they could really use your help. I think they were headed toward one of those old Republic-era factories. Tell them Johnny says hi! It's a thing we do. <sighs> it's a thing we do. Uh, and what's good about this is uh, we've located the transmuted ship and we've picked up the, uh, the fact that we can transmute a boiler part, just similar to the windmill gear, so it's going to operate in the same way. A device used to control both water pressure and temperature in Republic-made boilers. Bam. Now, last time when we did the windmill gear, we didn't have it crafted and we had to uh, craft it afterwards. But this time, I think we'll get the dialogue related to, oh, you've already done all of the tasks. So that's what we'll be doing. Uh, so that's up this way. And then we've got Jules request bodybuilders in a bind. So we'll do that as well. Something that's interesting about this region specifically is you're able to fast travel to all of the zip lines. It's kind of cool. I do like that you can fast travel to basically any point in the map where you've completed an activity or found a location. Uh, so you can really get to a specific spot that you want. But yeah, this is what I was mentioning earlier, uh, you know, how I was talking about once we get to multiple World Intel spots in different regions, we'll be able to sort of trim it to the most efficient parts of that. Uh, and this is what we're doing now. And I also like that this region is one that is different to Junon where you don't complete basically everything immediately. There is... Uh, some that you'll have to complete later. <laughs> There's those mountains in the middle were looking mighty plastic for a little while there. That gorgeous music, gorgeous area. All of the regions are so beautifully crafted. We'll keep focus on the Johnnies. Say hi to Johnny, it's a thing that we do. Hey there, bro! Hey, Johnny said that you needed my help. What? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Wait, was, was it, it you? you? Not me. So, so you're, you're saying, saying it was me? me? No, no way. You're, you're too, too stubborn, stubborn to ask for help. help. Hey, you talking shit about me? <laughs> <laughs> you two are a riot. Have you thought about starting a two-man show? I bet it'd be a smash hit, right? So? Well, we were looking for a part to help us repair the boiler, but it turns out nobody makes it anymore. Then we thought, why don't we just make it ourselves? So to do that, we're hunting for a transmuter chip. Any luck? Sure wish we had a chocobo right about now. <sighs> okay, I'll take it from here. Sweet! We're looking for instructions on how to craft a boiler valve. And if you find one of those chips, feel free to just transmute a valve yourself. Are you trying to give us even more work? You do are the best. Damn, this one is... Chocobo, because we can be our own Chocobo. Hey, that's... This one's different to the windmill one where we weren't able to just go through it. But look, we're just watching all of the objectives. <laughs> In the windmill one, they go, oh, you've already done this. Oh, you've already done this. Oh, cool. This time I still have to hand it over. There you go. I just had this on me. Oh, baby, this is it. That boiler is as good as fixed. Hot, steamy showers in every room. 
Huh. Well, we should probably report back to Johnny now that we've bailed out all the others. Why do I feel uh, like there's more Johnnies? Actually, there's one more. Uh, where is he? Said he wanted to give the hotel royal flair by putting the Tonberry King's crown on display. Last we heard, he was desert bound. Hope he's not dying of thirst or knife wounds. You wouldn't mind going to check on him for us, would you, bro? Not at all. You're, You're the, the best. best! Well, we got a boiler to fix, so we're gonna head back. Our other life is in your hands, bro. Not at all. Okay, track down Johnny in the desert, which means we cannot get there. Oh, actually, hang on. The side quest is right here, interestingly enough. I was going to assume it was going to be out this way. In that case, we're actually able to do that. The borderland is where we cannot go past. The concept of Yuffie cloning Johnny permanently. I wonder if they will ever be able to reform or to figure that one out. Okay, so our boy's struggling to cross the borderlands. I can't believe you're here, bro! Me neither. Well, I'm glad you are. You see, we're renovating the hotel. And I thought a Tonberry King's crown would give the place that palatial feel. But it's, uh, somewhere over there. Rumor has it, the Tonberry King lives somewhere nearby. But there's no way your boy Johnny can get through the desert on foot. Listen, bro, I don't know if you were planning to check out the dunes, but if you are, you'd really be doing me a solid if you brought me back that crown. Preferably in the most pristine condition possible. <sighs> Fine. Just sit tight. I hope you know a way into the desert cloud, because I sure don't. Over the mountains? Or something? Oh, your kindness is bringing me to tears, bro! I eagerly await your safe and fruitful return. Just don't keep me waiting too long. We Johnnies are delicate flowers that wilt in the desert heat. Oh, I'm so excited to check out the desert. We're going to take on the sandworms and uh, lead Arrakis to victory. <laughs> they do have giant sandworms in the desert in the original Final Fantasy VII. Uh, okay, so we've got to steal and deliver the Tonberry King's crown. I wonder if that's going to be a Tonberry King fight. Regardless, we're not able to do that at this time. So we head to the training gym and we'll help Jules out. Great gains. My body's a temple, my muscles religion. What up, my proud and through with my condition. Greet every day with a bunny hop. Squat through the pain and tears that never stop. Squat through the pain. Not lift, laugh, love, no. Oh, there you are. Glad you could make it. Cloud, Tifa. Once a year, we take a retreat to enjoy the sun and sea breeze. Nothing like getting some gains in the great outdoors. What do you say? Care to sweat with us? I think I would. I haven't done a proper workout in forever. Well, we'll happily help you both become your best selves. Train with us as long as you like. You mean it? Well, I might just take you up on that. Here's a question for you, Cloud. What would you say is the key to a good workout? An unwavering resolve for gains. <laughs> Fair enough. The heart is the strongest muscle. But I'm not too concerned about that. As you know, our passion for getting pumped up is second to none. Now let's get down to business, shall we? The reason I wanted you to stop by? Monsters have been spotted skulking around the facility and I want them gone. Sure. Should be easy enough. Splendid. We can't train our bodies unless our minds are at ease. So you'll be doing all of us muscle heads a big favor. Okay, defeat fiends in the training gym. Tifa's saying, I haven't had a good workout in ages, and it's just more fighting. <laughs> That's so funny. 
Alright, um... Kick some ass. Someone's excited. Well, yeah. Wanted an excuse to work up a sweat, and now I've got one. Wonder what little Tifa would say. <laughs> <laughs> I think she'd be pretty proud. What would Zangen say? Alright, time to fight some fiends. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Cloud finally got my fire and ice upgraded? No. Damn it. That was someone else's fire material. This is an interesting variety variation of the battle theme. Brace yourself! I like it because it's a uh, it's a mix on a previous theme we've heard before. Ooh, Citripine Schoolmaster. This is a new one, actually. A battle version theme of this theme is so interesting. A rare Citripine fish variant and leader of its school. When threatened, it puffs itself up and signals an alarm, which commands its fellow fish to attack. Look at that face. It's Poggin. Hang on, I can't see it anymore. Hang on. It's a pog fish. Try this. Assemble fish. Something I really like is how frequently you can get limit breaks in your just normal. Uh, Battles now. Oh, it's over. Can't really go wrong with steak, I guess. What? Huh? Oh, sorry. Just some mental meal prep. The ideal oh. post-workout dish. <laughs> so, you were the one behind Seventh Heaven's menu? Half was a holdover from the old owner. The better half was mine. Oh, uh, should I hate there more? Yeah. You snooze, you lose. Holdover from the previous owner. That's cool. Here it comes. Let's finish this. Turn up the grill. Watch yourself. If you're this, get off. Can you stop flying so I can attack you, please? Just gonna keep doing it for ages, huh? Now's our chance. Seizing the 
Eater. Soldiers can't be choosers. We ate what we were fed. Well, I used to be super picky, actually. Really? Used to be. Not anymore, though. Can't be choosers in the slums, either. What about crab? Mm, not a fan. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> what about crab? Gotta love crab. Bundle up. Let's do this. Sorry. Question. What kind of meals do they feed soldiers? They put a lot of thought into making them healthy. Not much into making them tasty. Ugh. <laughs> that face says it all. You know, it's funny. What? Didn't realize it at the time, but... We ate pretty good when we were kids. Yeah. Homegrown fruits and vegetables. And great chefs eager to use them. I like how it's it's unexpected sometimes which party member is going to get the uh, relationship deepened by engaging with it. So this is really cool. And it makes a lot of sense because Tifa and Cloud are the ones that are working out the most. <laughs> but then you get to like sort of touch on their, their past as they're talking about what they're eating. This is a great way for Tifa to passively get information about Cloud as well, like about his past, to really understand what's going on with him too. That'll do. It's just constantly doubting things. Oh dear. That's the last of them. You ready to head back? You have defeated all of the fiends. What a workout. Cloud, Tifa, heard you two took care of our little monster problem. Can't thank you enough. Now we can get back to training fiend free. Excuse me. Sorry about it, but you wouldn't happen to be the one who beat these guys in a pull-up contest, would you? Uh. Watch it, rookie. Don't badmouth us. But that's how it went down, right? <laughs> You're Tifa, right? After I heard how you crushed it, I knew I had to join the gym. You're the reason I'm here. Oh, wow. And I'm not your only fan. Look, all of us signed up because we wanted to be just like you. It's just as she says. Thanks to you, our female membership have absolutely skyrocketed. Needless to say, we're very grateful. I didn't really do anything. Are you kidding me? You're literally my inspiration! Which is why I, uh... I want to challenge you to a sit-up contest! Uh, right now? So you know, Amina's been training to achieve your look, Tifa. You'd be helping her measure her progress. Let me sweeten the deal. If your abs prove superior, I'll add a bonus to your reward. How's that sound? <laughs> Crunch off. Okay, awesome. Tifa's back to work once again. I, I love how aware the, the devs are as well. You know how many Tifa cosplays there are out in the world? So many. It's a it's a plague upon our our world. <laughs> Everyone wants to be Tifa. Uh, I love that it's like Tifa gets this sort of uh, affirmation and positive reinforcement because she seems to doubt herself a lot she's very humble uh but she she's 
doubts herself so much. And this is good to have a nice little bit of uh, positive reinforcement for her character. You're an inspiration. Take up Amina's challenge in a battle to see whose abs are more fab. Whoever performs the most setups will win. In the event of a tie, you will lose. Press the corresponding button in time with the on-screen guide to perform sit-ups. As you proceed, the guide will fade from view and you have to watch Tifa's movements to determine when to press the appropriate button. The more crunches you do, the more effort each one will require. When a glowing ring appears, repeatedly tap the highlighted button. So it goes from a L2, R2, L1, R1 movement. Oh, actually, sorry, L2, R2, R1, L1. Alright, the basic rank. Only one reward tier at Don't the moment. Easy on me, okay? She's even copied the the look with the uh, thigh highs. That was perfect. <sighs> yeah, keep it up. Now's your chance, Amina. Oh, Tifa fell down. For some reason, the L2 did not press properly. Don't know why that would ever happen. I never miss my button presses. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Truly incredible. <laughs> no, Amina, oh, okay. God. I'm getting smashed by Amina here, by the way. Oh, damn. I should have done a warm up. Just I thought this like was that. the practice. Beautiful. <laughs> Don't you ever get sore? <laughs> You're both so stunning! It's almost like your muscles are singing! I'm at a loss for words. Incredible form! Smashed. Oh yeah! We let her have it, guys, you know. We needed to make sure that she feels confident in herself to continue pursuing her endeavor of fitness. So uh, that was definitely a uh, scripted loss. It's weird holding my triggers like this. That was perfect. <laughs> so up. Uh, it's almost like your muscles are singing. Beautiful. <laughs> Incredible form! Just like that! They're both so stunning! Yeah, keep it up! Steady now. Oh. Damn, Amina's fucking crazy. I made like no mistakes and she was like right behind me the whole time. Until I made a mistake. Incredible! It's almost like your muscles are singing! I can't get enough of those beautiful muscles! Nice. We had to keep it close, guys, you yeah. know. That was one hell of a workout. Just getting those gains. Just getting those gains. <laughs> wow, you've got abs of adamantite. Thanks a lot. You put up a good fight, though. Like I said, you're an inspiration to me, to all of us. Nobody's born with a beautiful physique like yours. I can tell you poured gallons of blood, sweat, and tears into your training. Honestly, I... Sorry. Thank you. Glad I could help. Well, actually, I was hoping that, if it's not too much to ask, would you, Tifa, be my muscle mentor? Me? Really? I don't know. By all means, you have my blessing. If you don't mind dropping by from time to time, I'm sure she'd benefit from your advice. Might as well. If that's what you want, then I'll back you up. Oh my gosh, thanks, coach! <laughs> <laughs> Muscle mentor has a nice ring to it. Here you go, then. Your extermination fee. And is promised a little extra for helping her out. Come back whenever you want to pump some iron. You're always welcome. 
You can now challenge Ronnie to a trainee level crunch off. Our relationship with Tifa has changed. Um, <laughs> okay. With uh, Tifa, there's been a couple of points where she's gone to apologize, but then she goes and thanks the person instead, which is very nice. She's like training herself to be less like apologetic for things and more like actually grateful. She's like, okay, thank you. If you're in the mood for a challenge today, then I'm your guy. Crunch off advanced training. Having witnessed your ab fair performance, the other members of Jules Gym are eager to challenge you to similar bouts of muscular mastery. Whoever performs the most setups will win. Uh, so we can get up to rank three to get another chakra materia and a champion belt, as well as the supernatural wrist guard. So we're going to get this now. But, but how? Somebody got crushed 30 to 21. You had me sweating though. That's rank one. No. I gotta train even harder. Get super swole. Ah, uh, no! I was just getting warmed up. Rank two complete. Chakra material level three, whoop, and, and now Jules is the pro level crunch off. The thing that really pisses me off about these type of challenges is I get it's supposed to be like difficult, but like what's really unfortunate is you can literally make zero mistakes and you watch the character next to you make multiple mistakes and they will still catch up to you if you just make one false move. You literally have to 100% the whole thing. They, they're like on your tail the whole time, yeah, even making mistakes. It's crazy. There's my oh, grand oh, victory, oh, baby. So Jules is ridiculously tough in that even if you don't make a single mistake, <laughs> If you're not absolutely pumping those buttons, right on your tail. I admit defeat. Hard to compete against an athlete like you. Okay, people. The Builder's Creed. My body's a temple, my muscles. We now have the champion belt. There you go. Okay. We worked hard for this. So Tifa can actually throw away her old. Oh, actually. For some reason, I thought my chakra material was still level two, but I think I'm getting that confused with prey. Yeah, I have my prey at level two. So we've got a free level three chakra now. Chakra comes most in handy during the hard mode playthroughs where you don't have access to items. And you don't want to waste MP healing. Very good. Okay. That's done. Uh, now we want to check on the champion belt. Okay, with that side quest done, we now have the Moogle Intel. So we've got Mog Home up this way. So we've got some more Moogle medals to spend and uh, Moogles to put away. <laughs> I rounded up all the Moogles. for helping us get this Emporium open. You're the best. Not many people know this, but the Emporium's founder, Mog, had a hard time learning how to fly. He ate a ton of Kubo nuts and practiced every day until his wings finally worked. It's such an inspiring story, Kubo. It was all thanks to me, by the way. I helped him. Okay. Anything interesting catch your eye, Kubo? Let's see what we can trade for. We got 20 this time. Okay, so we'll be grabbing more of these. SP, Secrets of the Ninja. Okay, Precision Defense Focus. HP up for Fire Materia. Um, I might just save my medals. We don't really need these. We'll save the medals until we probably get the next compendiums. Thanks so much! Alright, SP done. The only reason to suffer through catching Moogles is to be able to buy those. Wonderful. Okay, 
what that has now allowed us to do is achieve this region's almost complete nature. Uh, we just have one more combat assignment. Alright, we got the Terpsicult variant. Oh, the double pressure. Alright, Yuffie, assess them. Let's do this. Iliopora Terpsicult. Rare sea Terpsicult variants. The steady diet of blood, high in both iron and salt, have given them a sturdy build and distinct coloration. Their intense spinning creates a vortex that draws in prey. Exploiting their elemental weakness or evading leech pressures them, and they begin whirling after a spin attack, but if you hit them with powerful offensive abilities, you can interrupt and pressure them, which we've just been doing. Trying to get that counter, it's just not working out for me. Was that it? Yeah, watch yourself, good to go. Fight through it. Why would it attack me this whole time? Three. Lovely. See you horsing around. Very well. Okay, so now what we've done in this region is all that we can, but we can now proceed with uh, the main quest toward Mount Corel. Okay, we are ready to proceed. Ready to proceed with the main quest now. Here's the hiking trail. The ascent. We got the ropeway. Out of service. So we've got a walk? Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. <sighs> right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud! Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> Alright, timeout's over, team. Let's go! You know, the Materia Thief. When you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir? Huh? Ooh, so good. <laughs> permission to yawn yet. Well, do I get permission or not? Sure, you can do it while you're warming the bench. That's an abuse <laughs> of power. Tyrant. Tyrant! Tifa, tell me a secret. How'd you put up with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you too, Tifa. <laughs> Very good. I love that uh, they've got the ropeway. Sorry, my legs are <laughs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the materia. 
I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> catch up later, my ass. <clears throat> <laughs> I think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do. It's cool how the game handles uh, switching the party and giving you set uh, groups to spend time with for a little while. Uh, we're going to be touching on Barrett and Corel quite obviously. I really like that because it comes out of nowhere in the original because it's sort of like you reach a point in the original Final Fantasy VII where it starts going, okay, we're going to do this person's backstory now. And then we're going to go and do this person's backstory now. And then we're going to go do this. And it just like, you start learning about all the characters almost in sequence. It starts going, right, we'll focus on you now. Something that I love about the, the remake project is the ability to make it very clear that everything is going on at the same time and not just in a sequence. Now it's Barrett's turn. Now it's Red's turn. It's references and dialogue and things that are said throughout not only just this game but the previous one that just like builds up that excitement because we've had Barrett talking about like the gun arm. He's made references to his history already uh, that, you know, you know that he obviously has a thing against Shinra in the beginning of the game but it takes until Corel to explain it, whereas you get little bits of hints and bits of foreshadowing here and there of like, oh, I wonder if we'll get into that properly. And I really, really like that approach. Also, Yuffie being a classic obnoxious kid and annoying Barrett is great. We're, we now have a new party member for new party banter opportunities. And I think that's really amazing. Uh, what I was gonna say about the ropeway is I'm wondering how they're gonna handle it because there's just one giant ropeway that goes like a station by North Corel to the Gold Saucer. So that'll be really interesting to see that in this game. Uh, but we've also got the a ropeway that goes up the mountain, which makes a lot of sense. So I'll be resting with my group here. So maybe we'll just take a quick look around. So it's this own dedicated area here, the Ascent. I don't really think there's anything for us to find or discover around here. But Aerith's supposed to be resting and we're just making her climb over rocks. <laughs> and now that we have six people in our party, we can split it up into threes if necessary. So if they want to focus on having uh, different character segments, which is cool. All right, we've rested. We push on. Let us continue our hike. Uh, one of my favorite pre-rendered backgrounds of the original game is up this way. When you're walking and you're doing the hike and you're climbing up and it's just the way that the sun is shining on you as you make the ascent. And it's cool that that feeling is still here. You know, you've still got the sun shining in front of you overhead. Oh, Sandhog Pie. Uh, I just realized that my assess was with Yuffie, goddammit. Yuffie has my assess earrings. Every time the party changes on me unexpectedly, I forget. Let me grab that. Um, we'll fix this up real quick. I finally have Fyra and Biz uh, Blizzara now. Now I've got to swap to level up my lightning and wind. Takes a long time, but it's it'll be worth it in the end. Um, I'll give assess to red.
sort of multiple pathways we can take to get to the same area, I guess. Something I'm really looking forward to is because Barrett's mentioned the ruined reactor, and yeah, it's gonna be this area. This is also one of my favorite pre-rendered backgrounds in the original game, like I've previously mentioned. I just love that screen with the Marco reactor. So this will be a cool little run-up. Very beautiful music here as well. Me being obnoxious and just checking like <laughs> everywhere here. Um, what is that symbol for? What is that? Oh, <laughs> Yuffie is spray painted with a picture of Angry Barrett in which direction that they've gone. God, that's that's perfect. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Oh man. Again. Perfect characterization. Creatures that dwell in mountainous regions, flourishing in abandoned mines, they attack by charging into foes with the spines on their back and by casting spells. Gravity. It's cool to see the gravity spell in action. Come on. I'm sure we'll be able to repair the ropeway at some point. It'll probably be a side quest of like cleaning up the region and that will allow us some easier travel. Oh, we gotta go up this way. Okay. Here you go. Trail continues. Oh, nice. The mushies. The heat seeker. Fungal creatures found in mountainous regions. They possess an organ that allows them to detect body heat, a skill by which they identify approaching predators. Because this is where they first appear in the original game, but we had a Marco-infused variant in the grassland. Okay, dude, look at that. You can see Fort Condor from here. I think that is that same tip, maybe. Because you see how the top of it looks different? The top of that mountain looks a little bit different, like the fort that we could see in the distance when we're in Junon. And then Junon region is like behind that potentially. Or it might just be the mountain being a weird color. Because it could be a draw distance thing that we can't see the Junon region. Because if we look over here on the world map, yeah, it's directly over from here. But yeah, that's way too far away actually now that I think about it. <laughs> that piece of land is actually so close. I'm thinking with a small-minded world map mentality like the original game, but like, it's so much bigger. So yeah, just a weird colored mountain. Because this is Fort Condor all the way over here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Angry Barrett and sad crying Yuffie. Amazing. He's just continuing to add to it. 
And then Tifa will be next, right? So they've gone up this way. Bring it. So long. No more. That'll do. Stuff that's interesting about the direction that they've taken is there are alternate paths. So I'm kind of curious. So uh, it looks like you can get up there or you can get up here. of enemies specifically that I'm really interested in seeing because this area has some really fascinating enemies it's like some sort of uh, I can't remember the name of it and it might be this game's version of the Adamantus the name of it escapes me it may be that you see We'll have to get an assess on it when it finally shows its face. Only the strong survive. A lot of really good crafting materials that we're getting out this way, though, as well. Starting to see all of uh, old evidence of people doing mining in the mountain. <laughs> Got the, the energy. Energy. Battle themes are so pumped. Oh, here we go. Now uh, Yuffie's angry and now Barrett's sad. <laughs> you you still spotted up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. Could do this all day. It's like, it's like someone's pulling me up. You've become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? I did? Thanks for having me! The hell are you doing, Red? <laughs> happens to all new climbers. If she passes out, I'll carry her. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> the hell are you doing, Red? That delivery is so perfect. But also, Aerith is just thanking the planet. Very cool. <laughs> now Barrett's properly crying and Yuffie's concerned. Because we're getting closer and closer to Corel, so he's probably getting more upset and uh, also pissed off in the same vein. And there's a big ladder that we can take up here. What a thrill. So now we're up on the next trail. Yeah. 
you just know that repairing the ropeway is just going to be a quest at some point. <laughs> Something that I really like that this game has done with Limit Breaks and Summons is it's made them more accessible to actual battles in the open world instead of saving them primarily. Like, you would normally only get Limit Breaks popping up in your boss battles, and same with the Summons. There was, like, save for those special occasions, as far as I remember. And they just feel a lot more accessible now, especially Summons. They pop up quite a lot, which is quite nice. <sighs> Oh, dude. These days ain't got no manners. You greet each other. It's proper. Ah, oh, this is great because it's like the this is the exact part that I was talking about. No manners. About the pre-rendered background when you're jumping up and you can see the sun and they had a hiker waiting there. I tell you, hikers these Okay, can you stop saying this? You greet each other. It's proper. The game doesn't like me looking around. Well, I'll be. Finally, folks who've got some manners. He just kept saying that over and over again until someone came to say hello. Not a one of them so much as nodded my way. You can try calling out to a few sick looking fellas all in black, and what did I get? Silence. I guess these days never learned to greet each other or something. Every time someone's like walking near him, he just keeps repeating the same thing over and over until he pressures them to come and say hello. <laughs> it's like, dude, let me look around the environment without the NPC repeating their dialogue for a minute, please. I think it should be on like a timer of like, at least like 15 seconds, but it feels like it's, it literally repeats like every two seconds. 15 seconds gives you enough time to look around and naturally move on. And uh, it's not too long to wait if you miss the dialogue and want to hear it again, you know? A balance. Instead of... Ah, uh, hey! Ah, uh, hey! Ah, uh, hey! Which <laughs> over and over and over. Ooh. <laughs> this is the enemy that I was talking about! Except it's definitely not Adamantus related, because look at them. They're like lizard like. Go on. Yes, dude. Okay. Need a breather. They're spitting shit at me. Bagna Drana. I don't think that was their name. They're hard to hit, but how else am I supposed to get my ATB gauge up to assess them? Right, here we go. Oh, wait, I gave assessment to Red, didn't Hope I? Is not yet oh, you attack him from the front. Alright, what's your deal? Yeah, these enemies are cool. They're resistant to a few things. Six-legged carnivorous creatures that occupy mountainous regions. They use their front legs to pin down prey, attacking mercilessly with their teeth. I don't know why I thought they were, like, Adamantus-like. I think yeah, it's something about how they looked in the original. Impervious to physical attacks from the rear, inflicting enough damage will sub, uh, during subdue will pressure. I'll show you what okay, I so there's subdue. I see. And what was it? They're weak against uh, ice, specifically. Well, Alright then. Oh, 
after you. Well, you gotta try and inflict enough damage during that attack, but then at the same time, <laughs> you get bound if you stand in front of them to attack them. Very good. I think we're almost done. Stay strong, okay? I'm being bullied. Look at this. This person is coming specifically for. Yep. Literally, I swear that the enemies in this game are more likely to target the character that you're controlling, which is probably normal, you but okay? it's just like. Sometimes you want to control a character specifically to get them away from the action. Cool enemy though. Great looking design. They look very different to me this time. We almost caught up to the team. Ooh, Shinra. And a Valkyrie, too. Reactor construction site. Oh, cool. This could be potentially uh, what they were doing earlier, where they made a mention of the Magnus Materia. Because this could be huge Materia related. Like when you have that scene in the original game going to Gongaga and Scarlet's taking a peek inside the reactor. Hey look, they all look happy now. <laughs> They're a happy family going up here. Okay, so I think you gotta like walk right up to the chalk drawing and then it says, you spotted a chalk drawing. I'm wondering if that changes anything specifically. Like, I didn't go right up to the first two to get that pop-up. So now I'm curious. Does it affect anything? Like, if you notice all the Yuffie signs, it changes your relationship with her? There's potential for that. You're like, hey, I noticed your signs. There's a rest point and the ability to level up and buy things. Uh, we should also be preparing for a boss fight. Uh, and the boss fight uh, could potentially be with this party. I don't actually know. Uh, but I think that we've got a decent setup regardless. But they're making us do all of the resting, which means we've got a big fight ahead. With this potential Valkyrie. How's our group doing? Rude's in the helicopter. Oh. Come on. Out you go. They're giving him a lift to keep the chase for Sephiroth going. Ha. Huh. Clever. Again? Oh, unless they're doing uh, tests well, with Genova. Look who it is. You here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon. And then they weren't. So, 
Here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. <laughs> so, that's it? Well, since you're here... Haha. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hate those phones. Bring back the flip phones! We'd love to stay and chat, but Rude and I are busy people. She'll be more than happy to keep you company, though. Whoa, okay. Now play nice, shitbirds. <laughs> Valkyrie variant. Yes, dude, okay. Custom Valkyrie, there you go. So, they're dropping off the black-robed figures to keep our uh, trail going, going after Sephiroth, like Rufus wants. So Turks are just, you know, stringing us along, doing what they're told, and we're doing what we're told, unknowingly. The modified version of the Valkyrie, a high-speed aerial weapon manufactured by Shinra's Advanced Weaponry Division, it has been newly equipped with flamethrowers, allowing it to transform the battlefield into a sea of flames. Okay. Flame jet, okay, out. Okay, every time I get up here, you're gonna flame jet me? Okay. How do I get red up there? <laughs> Only cloud is the ability to get in the air. Oh. Alright, hang on. Can I get some attacks in? All I need to do is just get Red's Assess first. Inflicting enough damage by exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. While it is using cooling protocol, it will become easier to pressure. So lightning and arrow. Here goes. Let's get serious. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, of course you're gonna bully me. Cooling protocol, there you go. Ward shift, go to where I need to be. Thunder, baby. Cast that twice. Hang back. Anti personnel gas? Oh god. Oh, okay. Everyone is getting wiped out with that. That's it! Sure. How you can perfect block a sequence of them. Uh, we can do firework blade. On it. Don't give up now, you guys. Very good. Okay. Dude, fire tornado. Sure. Okay. Okay. It's so... Okay, modified particle cannon. That is so unnecessary. Ow. Okay, that just completely... Okay. Okay, yep, cool. Um, that's very good. Very good. <laughs> I love getting met with a brand new attack for the first time and just being like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Alright. Jesus. Okay. Nice. 
Ascension. Nothing personal. Nice pressure. You can do it. My turn. You jittery? Okay. Here goes. I'm just okay. so tired. I guess we'll all sleep. Okay, now I'm gonna get particle beams. How did all this miss me? Okay. Literally asleep. Who's got... I can do summons. Oh, yep, yep, okay, yep. I'll try and avoid that, yep. Trying to avoid that. <laughs> After you, keep it together. I'll, I'll do what I can. Time to bring it down. <laughs> Sorry. Taking <it> over. <laughs> Calling lightning. Damn. The cooling protocol does not last long. Is that it? Savage Assault. Another particle beam, huh? With me. Lead the way. Nice. Very good. Should get another stagger here. No, not Blizzard. Okay, that should at least do the job. That was not meant to do Blizzard. You're done. Finish it, red. Nice. Custom Valkyrie defeated. Hell yeah, red's like, see, I can get into the air. <laughs> what a team! Nice finisher. Guess the Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. Ah, oh, looking at the sky. Reno hype, though. When is he coming back? The next order of business is the Magnus Materia Project. As you are aware, Simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors. Unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas. Organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. 
Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Wu-Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes? There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. Hmm. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? <sighs> <sighs> Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. <laughs> You pick now? You pick now to do this to me? Oh my god, I was wondering when we were gonna come back to this. Yeah? Let me in. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay, pause. Oh, he's doing squats on the menu. He's doing squats on the menu because he's perfect is what he is. Okay. Okay. Again, we must talk. We have things to discuss, you and I. Um, I think that this radical change in Shinra's attitude in this game is really, really good. And it's fun and exciting because what you have in the original is the cargo ship goes from Junon to Costa del Sol. Heidegger and Rufus are on board. Like, they're doing stuff. And uh, then Rufus... Uh, gives Heidegger a bunch of crap for letting the like Cloud and the gang and Sephiroth aboard uh, as stowaways. He messed up big time. I'm expecting results. Do the damn thing. And then Rufus flies off in a helicopter because he's going and doing Shinra things. And it was interesting because I was waiting to see Rufus and Heidegger on the cruise ship because I was expecting them to be going across the ocean because... The pilot, the captain even mentions, there's big wigs on board, you know? And I'm like, yeah, I, I would assume so. But it didn't happen, which is very interesting because Rufus and Heidegger have some very cool interactions in the original game in terms of like Heidegger's attitude and Rufus course correcting him and being like, stop that stupid horse laugh. Like, I need results. I need you to stop being like President Shinra's lackey who thinks he can get away with all this crap like he did in uh, under President Shinra's control, like he did in the original. Uh, and it's a really cool change to actually go back to the Shinra building, them actually having meetings and talking about these plans. Uh, it's such a great change to see Rufus actually talking with members of Shinra, giving them characterization, fleshing them out. It makes me 
so happy to see it and their evil scheming while uh, Reeve is still there, just really trying to like fight the good fight in this board uh, of evil people. Weapons are coming into the story so much earlier because it's very specific how weapons come into the story in a massive way in the original. Like it's a big event that the weapons come in. They're changing it to really fit sort of the compilation of Seven's law when the weapons activate, when the planet is in dire distress. And they, I guess they've shifted it from being a major event that happens in the original game to just the planet is in general in distress, which is true. And that touches on what Red was saying in the grasslands where he's like, this world looks beautiful, but like it's on its last legs, you know? Uh, I think that was Sapphire weapon what we saw there because you see Sapphire in the original. It's very cool to see Hojo's reaction to the weapon as well. And they're changing the huge materia element of the original where the huge materia was, were in like reactors, like the Fort Condor reactor, the Gongaga reactor, potentially they were like, they were looking around all of the reactors, the coral, uh, Corel reactor as well. Like now they've changed it to a naturally formed Magnus materia and they're focusing on the weapons that way. I think that's really cool. I think that's a really great, unique way that they can take that element of the story. Love it a lot. And this is the cool thing about Rebirth is when they advertise this game as the unknown journey it's because there are it's allowing themselves to make these adjustments, make these subtle changes to uh to the story and then make some major changes in movements in a way that feels right. It's not like egregiously chopping and changing events. It's they're allowing themselves freedom instead of being strictly the exactly the same as the original and that was the whole meta narrative of the spirits the whispers of fate. They were trying to force everything to be exactly the same. And now we can have these changes, but as a consequence to that, we now have this handsome man in front of us squatting and holding his hips going, come on, man, stop yapping and play the video game. Uh, because we also have the alternate timeline where Zach survives. And I was really wondering when we were going to come back to this because uh, we've recorded 13 episodes now, and it's been multiple chapters. So they're giving us little bits and pieces of the alternate story. And I assume that their places in the story will have relevance to the prime timeline as well. And what better way to end the episode with this tease that we are going to be playing as Zach once more... <laughs> Just absolutely ridiculous. Look at this man. I'm very, very excited to continue the story. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I really liked the hiking up Corel and being able to take in the sights there. Uh, just a great region to be in with some amazing story content ahead. And it's funny that Corel, because of that, it feels like a bit of an intermission, like an interlude before we get to some really major things. And this game is... Uh, clearly setting up some even bigger things to show us uh, soon enough. So can't wait to get there. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode and I will see you next time.